Uh, Fraser, there's so many moving parts uh, in New York, in DC. What's at stake today? Uh, ultimately, uh, it is the future of presidential power in the United States. That is something that the Supreme Court is about to weigh in on uh, as they hear oral arguments in this case. Now, this is really uncharted legal territory here in the United States. The last time uh, something of this kind of magnitude went before the court in terms of presidential power, it was the 1970s, and Richard Nixon uh, was on uh, was one of the names on that bill, and that was what was being heard. Uh, and ultimately the outcome of that was that uh, the president's uh, presidency could not uh, face civil litigation for actions that they took whilst in office. But that didn't go as far to um, cover criminal liability. And that ultimately now is what is going to be decided over. Donald Trump argues that a president has full immunity to do whatever they want uh, unless they are impeached by the House and the Senate. Now, Donald Trump was, of course, impeached by the House, but he was uh, not convicted by the, at the time, Republican-led Senate. So that is uh, one of their kind of, uh, one of their legal arguments. That argument, it must be said, has not held water with the uh, lower courts here in Washington, D.C. The appeals court had a unanimous decision uh, where they all said, all three judges said that the uh, president does not have full immunity. They also questioned whether what Donald Trump was accused of doing, the inter election interference and uh, January 6th uh, insurrection on the Capitol, whether that was in, within the scope of his public office. So uh, a lot of big legal questions to answer uh, here at the Supreme Court. Uh, on Thursday. Oral arguments are scheduled to last about two hours. We don't know when a decision for that is expected. Uh, obviously, all the eyes are on if the courts will be moving quickly, there, Fraser. And you mentioned January 6th. Uh, do we expect a January 6th trial to take place before those uh, November elections? It could be quite crucial. Well, many people think that the January 6th trial brought by Jack Smith here in Washington is the most uh, important trial that Donald Trump is facing, uh, and it's the one that everybody really has been keeping their eyes on. Now, because of uh, the gravitas of this trial, Donald Trump's legal strategy, much like it has been across his other cases, has been to delay, delay, delay. So uh, we have seen many back and forth between uh, the legal counsel of Donald Trump and also the special counsel uh, who is representing the government. Uh, and then but this Supreme Court weighing in was also something that not many people uh, thought would be happening. And Jack Smith, the special uh, counsel, asked for this to be seen uh, quickly by the Supreme Court, which ultimately was rejected, which is why we are now on this projected timeline. They could rule any time between effectively the end of the oral argument until the end of their session, which is in the end of June. So uh, that then just four months before the November election. And it's really leading into this whole idea that the Supreme Court is becoming politicized. Uh, and that is uh, something that we are hearing a lot of in the United States because their ruling on this really could decide whether this trial does go to trial before that November election. Donald Trump obviously hoping that it doesn't and hoping that if he wins the election, he can make these cases disappear. Uh, of course, a lot of uh, developments to come. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Fraser, for just uh, filling us in, and we'll be awaiting any kind of results uh, from both uh, the New York Court and the Supreme Court in D.C. Fraser Jackson coming, us, uh, coming to us from uh, Washington.